New tonight, city leaders in McAllen went back to the drawing board after denying a local nonprofit funds to keep running. CBS 4 Jelani Martinez attended tonight's meeting to see why city commissioners had a change of heart and just how much money they're providing. Jelani. Last week, McAllen City Council voted to no longer fund Comfort House, but this time around, the council came to a decision leaving the nonprofit with hope. All but one commissioner was in favor of funding Comfort House. However, Commissioner John Ingram was never in favor of funding the nonprofit since they first jumped on the budget two years ago. And I was very concerned that we not set precedent where outside agencies start hiring city commissioners because I think when we start doing that, it's a real temptation to corrupt our city officials. And tonight, majority of the commission decided to fund Comfort House $100,000. However, I think we're, we're trying to send a message to some of the agencies that uh, we appreciate them, number one, but number two, we want them to look for other funding sources as well. Executive Director of Comfort House, David Perez, remains hopeful following the city's decision, but says trying to find other funding sources has been a challenge years in the making. What has affected us the most from living in the shadows of, uh, of two administrators ago is the fact that it's hard to regain the trust of a lot of individuals that would help the Comfort House out. Perez says the funding they applied for is for operations. They have a paid staff with a total of 12 caregivers giving 24-hour care to all in-house guests. We're slowly regaining trust again and we need to move forward. We need to surpass all of this so that we can be able to regain that trust. Comfort House has been around for about 30 years, and Perez tells me he wants to carry on the mission and vision of Sister Marianne Strohmeyer, who started the nonprofit. The decision to fund Comfort House will be made next month. Live in the Far McAllen Newsroom with Complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CBS4 Valley, tonight.